My name is Philip Benedict. I served in the Army Reserves for two years from 1986 to 88. <laughs> I had a cousin that was in the Navy and he talked me into switching over and uh, so I did. And I joined the Navy in 88 and I was on the Theodore Roosevelt in uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, I did two tours, two six-month Mediterranean tours and uh, saw a lot of countries and uh, it was very interesting to see the country, see the different people and it was, it was quite an experience. I joined the service because I wanted to, I wanted to see the world and, uh, and I think that my grandfather was in the army and so I always heard stories from him and uh, I guess it kind of stuck in the back of my mind and, and then when I got out of school that I took the opportunity and joined right up. Well, having experiences of being on a ship and a fully running ship with 4,500 people it was, uh, it was quite a difference from a small town in Missouri, you know, for a country boy. And so it was, it was very interesting, but also I think some of the learning that I got and the training that I got helped me in, when I became a, uh, an adult. Yeah. Like when, when you, I think when you wear the uniform, you're dressed white. I think like when you pull into port on an aircraft carrier, they, you line up along the edge of the ship. And when you pull into port, and there's always hundreds, sometimes thousands of people out there watching you come in. And then they're all cheering and, you know, flags are flying. And it's, it just, it gives you a feeling. It's almost like a chill. It, it was really, that was a neat experience. My first, especially my first time doing that, that was really neat. So I think that when, when you feel that experience, it sticks with you. And I think that's part of the pride that you have for being in the service. And I think that that's really stuck with me for the rest of my life.